In this video, we are going to be going over instant tips for you to get five to 10 more miles per hour on your forehand or your backhand with whatever stroke you already have. If you can implement these tips, you will be able to get more power on your shot, okay? The first tip, my favorite quote in tennis, and all of you guys should know is what? In tennis, to gain control, you have to give up control. Once again, in tennis, to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let the racket work for you and the less you work for your racket, the better you are going to be. Now, go. have you guys ever went to any the U.S. Open? I live in uh, Philadelphia, so anytime the U.S. Open, I always go. I see them every year. You see these small guys, these women, right? These, these guys are super lanky, and they just crack the ball. It's so easy. You watch them hit, it's like, oh my gosh, in person, right? The reason why, it's not because they're gripping and arming the racket so hard. It's because they're rotating. Rotation equals power, right? By holding the racket loose, it's going to allow your body to rotate properly. They're letting the racket do the work. So you're going to go out, and again, you're going to just hold that racket looser than you ever have before, and you are going to get way more power on your shots. Now, if you struggle with holding the racket too loose, and I know you get tight, you have nerves, right? Here are two exercises to hold the racket loose. Number one, you're going to grip the racket with your middle finger, your index finger, and your thumb. You're going to hold the racket like this, and you're going to get the feel of how loose it is. Number two, you're going to squeeze your dominant wrist with your non-dominant hand. So I'm a right-hand player, so I'm going to squeeze my right wrist with my left hand. By squeezing this, I'm going to be thinking about squeezing my wrist, and it's going to force me to grip the racket loose. By gripping the racket loose again, I will get more power. Now, the next thing. Again, you don't hold the racket tight, right? You hold the racket loose. When you rotate, you can get more power. You're going to get into your legs, okay? I want you to think that all the power in tennis comes from the ground up. The more you can get into the ground, the more you can get into the ground, the more power that you will have. So when you hit, I want you to think that you are loading into the ground and then you are exploding off the ground. Once again, I'm loading into the ground, exploding off the ground. I'm loading, exploding. Feel yourself push into the ground and push off the ground. If I'm doing open stance, I'm going to push into the ground on my outside leg and then I'm going to push off the ground off my outside leg. If I'm doing closed stance, I'm going to push in the ground on my outside leg and then I'm going to step forward and transfer it onto my front foot, okay? By pushing into the ground, you will see more power on your strokes. Now, if you want another tip, okay? A great tip, right? What gives you power? What gives you power? Rotation, right? Rotation gives you power. Rotation gives you imagination, exaggeration. No, right? Here is a great way to rotate, right? By pivoting your back foot. Watch what it's going to do. By pivoting my back foot, it's an instant way to rotate my hips. Watch, when I swing, when I swing, boom, I pivot my back foot, it's going to instantly rotate my hips. So you are going to, again, once you hit, you're going to pivot your back foot. By pivoting your back foot, it's gonna allow you to rotate. Some coaches like to say to squash the bug, right? In Philly, they had all these lantern flies that would jump, they'd jump on you, so gross, but they were like, everywhere right and you, you'd want to stomp on them they were super crunchy right mm -hmm. pretend that there's a lantern fly down there or a big bug and you're squishing the bug you want to squash the bug with your foot once again when i hit i want to squash the bug with my foot to allow my hips to rotate now i'm just going to check the camera to make sure that it keeps on going we've been recording a lot of videos lately and my phone would just shut off and it recorded all this amazing stuff and then i had to do it again if you guys want to click the link to the serve video that I just went over, click the link in the description. All right, let's keep on going, okay? More power, okay? Now, not only if I can push in the ground, push off the ground, rotate my hips, okay? But if I can get my body into the shot, if I can use my body as more power than my arm, then I'm going to get more power, right? So what I'm going to do is after I hit watch, I want to get my body forward into the ball. If I'm hitting the backhand, after I hit, watch, I'm gonna go boom and get my body forward. Maybe I'll get under it. Here we are. I'm gonna go boom and get my body forward. So by getting your body into your shot, it's also going to generate power. You want to utilize your momentum to gain you power. Now, how can we do that and ensure that we do that more often? Instead of standing close to the baseline where I have to move back, 
whenever you move back on your own defense, I'm going to start a little bit behind the baseline. Now, when I start a little bit behind the baseline, a little bit more, now when I hit every single ball, I'm going to move up to it and be able to get my body into it. So you're going to not only get your body into your shots more, but you're going to stand a little bit more back. By standing a little bit more back, it's going to allow me to move up and get five to 10 more miles per hour on my shot. Now, another way, right? In tennis, to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let your racket work for you, the less you work for the racket, the better it's going to be. So what do we have to do? We just have to exaggerate our follow throw. A great tip to get more power is just to let the racket go more. So not only grip it loose, but make sure you finish all the way. This will also keep the ball in as well. So watch, when I swing, I'm not stopping my racket. I'm not gonna get more power that way. I wanna let this racket go all the way across my body. I wanna follow through with my backhand. By letting this racket go every single time, that is going to be able to give me more power. Now, to ensure that you're doing that and to ensure that you're accelerating when you swing, I'm not sure if this mic is gonna pick it up. We have a new mic. Actually, I'm waiting for my, this is like a $10 mic on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link to the mic in the description. It's only 10 bucks, it's insane. My other one, the Rode microphone that I use in all my other videos, I broke it. So I'm waiting to get replaced. It was under warranty. I'll put the link to that description as well for you guys. But when I swing, we'll see. This is a test if this $10 mic, I think it might be $20 is good, right? When I swing, can you hear it? I'm not sure. On the other mic, you would definitely be able to hear it. Can you hear it? You can hear the wind against your racket. If you want power, you need to be able to hear the wind. That ensures that you're accelerating. Too many players, what they do is they go like this, they swing, and it's super slow. No, you wanna be super loose when you swing. So you wanna be back, boom. <laughs> Hear that wind against your racket every single time to ensure that you're accelerating as much as you can. But again, make sure again, when you do that, you're holding the racket loose, not tight. Now, I hope guys, this video gives you five to 10 more miles per hour on your forehands and backhands. Use these tips, it's gonna help. Let me know if they help in the comments below. I put my instantly improved my forehand ebook. It's on sale right now. Make sure to click the link in the bio to download it. Also, if you want this $20 mic, if it sounds good, I'm not sure. I hope it does on the YouTube videos or the microphone that I use in all my videos. Make sure to click the links. Have a good one, guys. Follow me on Instagram and happy hitting and get more power on your forehand and your backhand.